All right, guys, today I'm going to share with you my thoughts and opinions on Goodfellow and Company beard products. They're oils, they're balm, and four of their colognes. Now, I don't know if you know who Goodfellow and Company is or what they are. It is a Target-owned brand that's been around for about two years. If you were to walk into Target and go to the men's section to buy clothes, this is what you'd find is mostly Goodfellow and Company. And now they have developed into even uh, more things like the beard products, shampoos, conditioners, body washes. And, um, and so for me, I have found out that the clothing is actually pretty good. I, I own some shirts and some pants from Goodfellow and Company. They're comfortable. They're modest. They're, um, they're very casual. And they're very affordable. And typically, I don't like to buy beard products from big brand name companies, big conglomerates, because they, they turn out to not be so good for a reason, I believe. You know, um, things like Gillette, Old Spice, uh, those, have, those have proven to not be very good beard products because I don't think that they're really looking after the best interests of the people who are wearing them, who are applying them. We all know, most of us know at least, that uh, the best beard products you can buy are usually from beard product companies because that's all they do. That's what they really care about. Their whole reputation and their profitability is staked on that. Um, so when I saw that they were carrying beard products, I didn't, I didn't buy them right away, but I got to thinking maybe I should give them a fair shake if I like their clothes. Maybe they've done this right also. So... So here are my thoughts on it, and you can make your own decisions. You can come to your own conclusions, and if you have questions for me, you can ask me down in the comment section below, and I will, I will be happy to answer them at my convenience. Um, so like I said, they have three oils, three oils, and only three, all right? And uh, they are Moroccan, Mint, and Cedar. This one's marked by a number three, all right? Then you have... Blue Sage and Tonka is marked by a number one. And you have a Spiced Ginger and Rum, and it's marked by a number seven. And they come in boxes like this. They come in boxes just like this on the shelf. Very modest, very casual looking, but that's their image. That's the look they're going for. And so the only thing left to do is open these up and find out how they perform. Do they work like they should in your beard? Do they smell good? Are they effective? Um, is this something I'd want in my beard over and over again where I spend my money on it um, a second time or a third time? So let me tell you what it says on the back of the Moroccan mint and cedar. It says it's an exotic Moroccan mint scent with floral and coconut hints and a woody, uh, uh, and, a woody and musk finish. Do you know how when you get beard oils and you put them in and you're given a description of what's supposed to be inside and you get it in your beard and you go, I don't, I don't smell that at all. That's not the case with this, actually. Everything that they've mentioned in here, I can pick up as I have it in my beard. I can smell it and it smells really good. This Moroccan mint and cedar is such a clean, nice, pleasant, light fragrance. Um that I don't mind having my beard at all. Uh, it has the eyedropper top when you open it up and you look at the consistency of the beard oil, you're gonna see that it's neither too thin nor too thick. I don't like beard oils that are so thick that uh, I wonder if it's rubber cement or too thin or uh, too thin that I wonder if it's just water with uh, you know nice smelling water. But, um, but the Moroccan mint and cedar I thought was, uh, was great. And I want to tell you what the ingredients are. And for you guys who are very concerned with uh, organic uh, ingredients, listen to this. Made with vitamin E, jojoba, almond, castor oil blend. And it says it's made without silicones, sulfates, parabens, and synthetic dyes. That's pretty, I mean, what, what can you say about that? There's nothing to complain about. We'll say they did it right. Um, I was pretty impressed with the Moroccan Mint and Cedar. I really like this one a lot. Um, I say impressed. I was more surprised, actually. Now, the Blue Sage and Tonka. 
Here's what it says in the back of this one. A zesty lime and smooth sage scent with undertones of warm tonka, amber, and woods. It smells great. It's really good. Um, it's not as strong as the Mor Moroccan mint and cedar. And, um, but uh, it has basically the same ingredients in it. Jojoba, almond, castor oil blend. I mean, it, you're looking at, I think it's a, I think it's a quality beard oil. And then you have these spiced ginger and rum. And uh, it says on the back, lemon and orange peels with ginger, nutmeg, and clove on a floral blend with musky wood-based notes. Um, spiced ginger and rum. Oh, it's very nice. You do get that spicy scent. And I like that. I like the spicy, musky scents because it's a little more masculine. Um, a, le a little less floral and a little more masculine. And um, so it's good. It's good. You know, we, it's it's nice when when something's not so strong that that's all you can smell throughout the day, but you get little whiffs and little hints of it uh, throughout the course of your day. I got that with these oils. The oils I thought were just phenomenal. I, I couldn't believe it, especially with the ingredients they had. I thought they hit the mark. They did better, in my opinion, than Old Spice or Gillette. Um, so kudos to them. Now let's move on to the balms, or should I say balm, because they only have one. Now I, I, I really thought for sure I must be getting this wrong. I thought if they have three oils, they would have at least three balms, right? But they only have one. And the one they have is the Moroccan mint and the cedar. So at least you have an accompanying beard balm with that beard oil. Um, that's a little disappointing, I'll have to admit, because it seems kind of like an unfinished song, an incomplete sentence or thought. You know, I don't know why they haven't rounded it out. And it's not just my imagination. I looked on the internet. I looked on their website and I have found nothing to indicate any different. Everything I have is everything they have. Uh, unless they start developing more. Like I said, I think this is new for them. But the the um, let me tell you about the um, the balm. It comes in a 1.6 ounce, ounce tin. Uh, the label, as you can see, very plain once again. But it's nice. It's nicely done. It's not sloppy. Um, and I, they don't give you any of the ingredients on the lid or on the base, but I kind of trust what it has in it because I've got other beard balms that I've, I can kind of compare it to. And because their oils are so good, I felt like, uh, their balm is probably on, on, on task with the rest of it. It's very stiff, very stiff beard balm, more stiff than most of the other beard balms I have. I was a little surprised. For me, it might be a little too stiff. When you take it out, when you take it out, and you, it doesn't break down as fast. I mean, you can look at that. It's still not breaking down real fast. But that's not to say I don't like it, because I do like it. Um, of course, you're going to be having it in your palm before you put it on your beard. And um, it works really well. And it smells so good. You talk about smelling clean. It really smells clean. You know what it reminds me of? You know when you know when you're a kid, and this might apply more to boys than whatever to girls, but you're when you're a kid, your mom sends you to go take a shower or a bath, and she knows you probably didn't use soap. So she sniffs you and you get out of the shower to find out if you smell clean or not. And uh, I remember those days. I remember having really good smelling soap because I, I you know I got it on me good to make sure she knew they got clean. I didn't, I didn't want them on top of me like that. And that's what it reminds me of. It's so clean. It's so so clean smelling. I like it a lot. I wish they had blue sage and tonka and spiced ginger and rum. Okay, so that's my thoughts on the balm and the oils. Oils are really good. The balm's really good, but it's not rounded out. It's not complete. And good fellows and company, if you're listening, I love these. But you need to kind of finish it. Now, moving on to the colognes. The colognes are very interesting. Somebody told me that they really like their colognes more than they like the Duke Cannon colognes. Um, I, I like colognes. I don't like spending money on them, though, because most of the ones I like are really expensive. But they have some really affordable ones. 
And I'm going to give you the prices for everything here before the end of this video so you can find out if you want to spend the money on it. So I bought this trial pack, this sampler pack of their colognes. All right, looks like this. Well, it's $17.99. Not a bad idea. It has four of these in here. And um, what I thought was interesting about this is that the cologne, all four colognes come in these receptacles that look like small markers. All right? You, you take off the, uh, the cap, and there's a pump spray right there. And um, here's what the four colognes are. You have cedarwood and geranium. My favorite, cedarwood and geranium. I thought it smelled fantastic. Then you have um, you have spiced ginger and rum. Spiced ginger and rum. You, then they do have, you remember, they have a beard oil to go with that. Um, then you have juniper and sandalwood. All right. And also, the last one, Blue Sage and Tonka. And once again, there is a beard oil that you could use with this. Now, I don't think, I don't think that what Goodfellow and Company was going for was to give you matching colognes with your beard oil and your balm. I don't think that's what they were going for. But it's kind of nice at least that they have at least two that go with the colognes. Um, my wife's favorite was the Blue Sage and Tonka. I don't know how to describe the scents. Okay, they're just really, really good. But uh, here's here's my problem with them, is that they seem to be on the weak side. Even though they smell good, a lot of clones smell good when you first put them on. All right, any clone can almost smell good when you put it on. First, put it on, but they don't they don't last long. And sometimes I kind of wonder if sample colognes are just that way anyway. Uh, but um, these, to me, did not last very long at all. I mean, within an hour or two, they weren't even detectable at all. Um, so maybe in their bigger bottles, they might be more potent. But um, this, I'll tell you what I think this would be good for, is if you put it in someone's stocking. It'd be a good stocking stuffer. Like I said, it's only $17.99. And then that way, they can figure out if they want to go get any more cologne or not. So I, I recommend it for at least that. They still smell really good. But Cedarwood and Geranium is my favorite. Blue Sage and Tonka was my wife's favorite. Um, the prices for the oils, the oils are one ounce bottles, one ounce bottles, and they are seven uh, seven ninety nine. Not bad, not bad, because most, uh, I would say, most oils are probably what fifteen bucks the average. So this is almost half that, and still quality oil. Um, the balm, the one ounce tin of balm was seven ninety nine. It's really good. A little too stiff for me, but it's still really good. It smells great. It does the job. Seven ninety nine. Uh, the colognes. Uh, I already told you the sample pack was uh, nineteen ninety nine. They actually have solid colognes, uh, like half ounce solid colognes. They're fourteen ninety nine. I didn't try those. I wasn't interested in doing that. But um, so they're they're priced nicely. But my my thing is, I just. They didn't finish it. They didn't finish it, and I, I wouldn't, I couldn't devote myself to it. Like I could, that could, this couldn't be my go-to oil and balm all the time. It just, it's nice to have. It's nice to have in your stash, but I wouldn't want it all the time. I definitely would think it's worth spending the money on once, having it there, uh, just for something different. Uh, maybe, like I said, use them as stocking stuffers, Christmas gifts. Um, they're nice because they're. Especially, especially if you're going to gift it to somebody because they're inexpensive, you know. You might know a guy that doesn't want to spend any money on his beard. He doesn't want to put any product in it. And you're trying to talk him into doing that. And you don't want to spend a lot of money because he might not do it. But you might be able to spring seven or eight bucks, right? And so that these are really good in that case. And uh, But they're, I, I do believe in their oils. I do believe in their balm. It's just not finished. And... Um, the other thing is, I almost, <laughs> this is going to sound kind of, um, maybe it sounds kind of mean, but I just would rather give my money to beard product companies because that's all they do. 
they really care about this. They, they really care about their craft and they're trying ever so hard to give you the highest quality product that they can conjure up. You know, they're trying to give you the biggest bang for their buck. And uh, I think that we as beardsmen uh, should give them, we, we should give them our, uh, our time and our money. And, and, and if we're, I mean, if we're going to be paying for this stuff and we're going to be using it, then let's give it to the guys who really care about it the most. Cause I can't see people at target or good and company sitting around going, let's just think about how much better we can make these beard products. I don't think that's going to happen, but I do like them. It's just an unfinished product in my opinion. All right. So if you have any questions about any of these, uh, feel free to put them in the comments below. Like I said, I'll be happy to get back with you at my earliest convenience. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you found it useful. If you have, hit the thumbs up, hit the like button, and subscribe. I'll catch you on the next one. Stay tuned for more. All right, bye-bye.